Hello everyone, welcome back to Prison Architect. This is for release update 5. Um, this update just had a few optimization things doing to it. Um, one of the things though they did add was the need for hot water. Uh, if you remember last time on the fourth update, they added radiators that would heat the rooms because they did the temperature last update. Uh, the radiators now require hot water. And to get hot water, what you do is go to utilities, go to water boiler, and just plant one of those down. They will need a large pipe of cold water, which is what these produce, pumped into them. And let's speed this up a little bit. They will also require electricity. They do need to be powered. Um, and then once they're installed, you'll be able to build the hot water pipes which this will carry the hot water from the boiler to whatever needs hot water which is really I think um, the radiators and the showers from what I can tell which are the two things that require hot water we'll take a look around to see if there's anything else hiding that might require it as well but um, for the most part that's pretty much it anything that needs hot water but does not have it you will see here is flashing red for the little water droplets and this does have a range so you can't have one central boiler you have to have a few um, looks like sinks do not require hot water just cold but showers do, and those radiators will. You don't have to have hot water for the showers. You can let them shower in cold water, and it will produce an effect that will kind of subdue them. Um, but that is short term. So if they keep taking cold showers, eventually they're just going to get really mad. And let's take a look. Okay, so that's just out of range of the boiler. So you can see about how far... How much is it? Four dollars a tile? So... Maybe 40 meters or so about is the range. And then you got to start building new ones. So okay, as you can see here, I don't even know where we're going to put all of these. Maybe the morgue. Morgue might be a good place to plop down a boiler. Got the power for it right there. Got the water for it right here. So you will have to start placing these around and then have those special pipes. Um, going around. Oh, that! look at that. That actually produces heat. That's interesting. So you, the water boiler will actually heat up the room too. Oh, something's going down. So we'll add some more hot water pipes. What else needs it? This guy does. And that's really about it. Um, how are we gonna get? Oh, I can see we could put one maybe here. So yeah, nothing too complex. Real easy to do, and then of course, give it the electricity. We'll hook it right up, and then you can give... See, the toilets don't need it either, but the showers do. And that should make everybody happy. And we gotta give, the, again, the radiator needs it. And... All of these need it. And as you can see, the hot water pipes are on a separate layer than everything else, so that won't be an issue with messing with power cables or any of the original pipes, which are now considered cold water pipes. And as you can see, once the water flows with the hot water, it's a little red. 
stream of water versus just a regular blue. Now how did that happen? There we go. So they should all have hot water now and they should all be thrilled that they have hot water. So that's really basically it. They also did mention this came out shortly after um, Update 4 was released. Someone found this out. There is a little Easter egg. If you go to extras, there's a, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little pie symbol right down on the bottom left corner of the extras page. If you click on that, and it takes a few moments for it to go through, but there's Prison Architect in 3D, which I think is actually, and a lot of people have said this, it's really cool. You take a look, there's shower heads just floating over. Utilities kind of looks weird. Ooh, what was that? Utilities is a bit odd. Because they're still kind of 2D. But you can kind of see what that looks like. But yeah. You can kind of see how the walls look. Look how high those walls are. From the outside going to the yard. You can see each individual cell. It's really grungy looking, isn't it? Just dirty plain concrete walls. Not everything has a 3D texture to it or 3D model yet. Like you can see the workout benches don't. Um, the radiators I don't think do. The bunk beds don't so it looks like they're just kinda whoops I keep doing that with the, I'm hitting the middle mouse. So like they're kinda just floating. You can really hear the dog sniffing at that level. And see, it's not quite perfect. Like, you can kind of see the where there's a door here. It's just kind of open on top. So they probably could just climb over the door and escape. And, of course, I think this is the perimeter wall along the very outside. I don't know how to make it move faster, but... Oh, even the delivery trucks have a 3D model. Oh, look at that, the... The servo or the door thing does not have it. But yeah, most stuff does, and it just looks really cool. So I think it's worth checking out. And it should work for any of your prison or any prison you download from the workshop or from wherever you get it from. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I do hope to see you next time.